God to move. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Four benefits of believing in Jesus. Amen. Four benefits in believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. How many of you enjoy benefits? Amen. 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 Some of you enjoy benefits of being a certain person, mom and dad. Amen. 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 Some of you enjoy benefits, amen, because you are smart enough. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, sometimes for that young people in school, if you do very well in school, somebody say amen. 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 There are certain benefits that you get that others don't get. Amen. So never be ashamed and never, amen, uh, turn your nose up to benefits. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Sometimes the benefits can be so good. Until you're not worried about your pay, Amen. you take you keep the job for the benefits. Amen. Sometimes the job don't pay you enough, but the benefits, amen. the health care, yes. dental care, yes. somebody say amen. amen, insurance for your family, your children, amen. Sometimes you keep that job just for the benefits. The benefits. Amen. It's not the pay. It's not the supervisor. So I say amen. amen. You, you don't want to give up your benefits. Uh, talk to me. Amen. So I say amen. amen. So therefore, amen, because you can understand benefits, amen, I want to share with you four benefits of believing in Jesus Christ. If, if you don't want to believe for nothing else, believe in him, Mr. Morris, for the benefits amen. that God will afford to you just because you believe in him. So I say amen. amen. So you're going to leave here for nothing else, amen, today. Uh, I'm about this message, amen. I'm going to serve God if for nothing else, the benefits that he will offer unto me. Amen. Number one, everything I ever done wrong is forgiven. Amen. amen. That's one of the benefits yes. of believing in the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, who will all the folk might not forget? Matter of fact, Truth be told, me and you just talking, yeah. a lot of folks don't forget. Amen. And a lot of folks will bring it up and throw it in your face amen. with the quickness. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. By show of hands, help me out, help me preach the thing. How many had somebody throw some stuff in your face amen. that happened years ago? Amen. And the more they talk about it, they act like they have react today. Amen. And you be like, come on. Or know the church, and you believe how the name are knowing everything I've ever done wrong is forgiven. Amen. The word of God says in Acts 10 43, all who believe in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins through Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I say amen. amen. That's why it's important that we pray. What? In the name of what? Jesus. That's why, praise God, when we ask for things, we end what? In the name of Jesus. That's why when you get baptized, you get baptized what? In the name of Jesus. For the remission of your sin, and you shall receive what? The Holy Ghost. Now, say amen. Amen. And when you see that, the Holy Ghost, that will give you the power, the ability, amen, to live right. To act right, yeah. to talk right, yeah. to treat other folk right. like you want them to treat you. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. I said if you do something, you go praise God. If you cut somebody else out, don't you be shocked when somebody cuts you out. Right. Somebody say amen. Yeah. You dog somebody else out on Facebook, don't you start tripping when they come back at you. Yeah. I want that, and we say, they clap back at you. Amen. Is, is that right, y'all? That's right. Am I right here? Amen. They clap back. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, come on now. Amen. So don't you, don't you, all they gonna shame, you throw shame. Guess what's gonna happen? They gonna throw shame what? Back at you. Somebody say amen over here. Somebody say amen. 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 But Acts 10, 30, 10 43 says, all who believe in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins through Jesus' name. In Romans 3.22, Romans 3.22, we read that we are made right in God's sight uh -huh. 
Somebody say amen. amen. And see, this is the problem, y'all. You ain't God. Amen. Okay, let me step on this side. Okay, because this side, amen. amen. This, I hear it on this. Uh, we are made right in God's sight. Amen. 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 So, see, that's the problem, first of all. You think you God. Come on, man. A son of God uh -huh. in your own little world. Uh -huh. So I say amen? amen. When, 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 when I try to get right, I'm not getting right for you. Right. Amen. So I say amen. amen. Because truth be told, I'm saying right, I'm saying it right. Uh -huh. Truth be told, yeah. so I say amen. amen. It, it ain't about you. That's right. When I messed up in sin, so I say amen. amen. And I come to the house of God and I repent, I'm trying to get right in God's sight. Because whether you believe or not, you will have the heaven and hell put in you. Yeah. You might not talk to me. Right. You might not want to fool me no more. No. But you don't have a heaven and hell to put me in. Come on, say amen. amen. I'm trying to get my soul right. My body is going back to, to the dirt that it came from. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. It's my soul I'm trying to get right. We are made right in God's sight when we trust in Jesus Christ to take away our sins. And we all can be saved in this same way. No matter who we are or what we have done. Clap right there. Come on. You want to clap right there. Because truth be told, some of us have done some stuff. Somebody say amen. amen. And if God pulled a cover right here in this house, oh, some of us run out of here boy, holding our head and holler. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. But faith be to God for mercy and grace. Thank you, Lord. Let me read it again because you want to have a pen and paper, you ought to write it down. Uh, Romans 3.22, the, the, the New Living Translation says, and, and, and we all can what? Be saved. Amen? Amen. In the same way. Because what Jesus Christ is the one to take away our sins. Amen. You can't take nothing away. You can't take my sins away. Amen. You can take me out, take my name out your mouth. Mm -hmm. You don't want to speak to me. You ain't gotta look at me. Amen. You can defriend me. Somebody say amen. amen. You ain't gotta follow me no more. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God. Delete me. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. But you can't. But you can't take away my sins. Amen. Only Jesus Christ can take away my sins. Amen. And then it says, and we all can be saved in the same way, Amen. no matter who we are or what we have done. Amen. If that don't encourage you, right there, Amen. Something wrong with you. Amen. Something is seriously amen. wrong with you in this house. Come on, say amen. amen. Satan has a real grip on you. If you think you cannot be uh, a change and God cannot forgive you, Satan really has a grip on you. Yes. He had you jacked up. Come on, say amen. What you talking about? Jacked up? Yeah, he, he got you. Come on, say amen. Oh, he got you all. He got you. He got you tripping. Come on, say amen. amen. He got your mind. He got everything. If you think you can't be saved and delivered, Something's really wrong with you. Amen. The enemy has Amen. really got a grip on you. Amen. But we're going to break that thing this morning. Amen. You're going to go home and tell somebody, hey, look, I don't care what you've done. How many in here know that God can bring you out no matter what you've done? Amen. I see hands growing everywhere. You know God made good to you. Yeah. And you know, it's because you know you've done some stuff. Amen. Let, me, let me get off here. No. We know yeah. because our preachers love to go with you and to get themselves out of the out of, out of the thing, right? So let me back it up, right, and, and get this right. We know we have done some stuff, Amen. and God has been good to us. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. Number two. Number two. What was the first benefit? Everything. And I say it again, everything I've done wrong is forgiven. Is forgiven. Amen. Or better yet, it can be what? Forgiven. Amen. That's the first benefit. Everything that you've done wrong or doing wrong, it can be forgiven. And all you got to do is trust in God. Amen. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. That's all, how, how hard is that? 
to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, I learned God's purpose for my life. 